guys good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are this is Emmanuel today I'm here to you know show you guys how you can actually you know pass or go through the over protocol quiz for the KYC uh, test net they are actually doing to now a lot of individuals have um, reached out to me with the concern of uh, then what to do on the over protocol testnet and the KYC quiz. So guys, if this is the first time you're coming across my channel, ensure you click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you can be notified each time I release a new video. So guys, what I'll be doing now, I'll be showing you guys what you can do and I'll be leaving on the description of this video the steps on how you can go about it so you can be able to do it before any deadline so guys let's go there okay guys so these are the steps i'm going to be putting on the description of the video and um, yeah i'm going to vocally explain it and i will demonstrate what i'm seeing so right here you can see these are the steps the first thing you needed to do is to you know, go to your metamax you copy this link go to your metamax go to the browser section you search you search for this link and you scroll down then click on the add to wallet so once you click on add to wallet you will success you are, you are going to successfully add the core network on your trust wallet so i'm going to show you guys now how to do that okay, so this is my trust wallet and uh, what you have to do now is to click on this browser section as you can see once you click on it it's going to take you to the browser section of uh, the trust wallet and um, what you need to do is to enter the the link so as you can see Sorry, let me let me enter the link. So once you enter the link, automatically it's gonna show you something like this. If you are not Okay, it's going to show you something like this and what you have to do is you scroll down and you click on this you have to click on this that is add core network so once you add core network automatically it's going to add core among the network as you can see it here it's going to be among this network as you can see we have the ethereum the binance smart chain avalanche and now we have we have core so you add core on your account and once you add core on your account you have a, the wallet the core wallet yeah you have to you know have at least 0 0.2 or at least 0 0.4 if you can afford one core you have at least one core on your account for this uh, process so once you credited your account with core what you have to do now is to go to the second step so you can see here is the second step you have to you know copy this you have to go to your uh, to your metamax you click on settings the right uh, below the network so you add network you have to add this uh, network you see that is the open X long test net so what you have to do is this is the information you need this is the information you need you need this information in order to add in order to add on this uh, in order to add it on the you know, Metamax. So, 
as you can see let's go to our meta max here in our meta max you click on this call then you click on the add network as you can see the add network so once you click on add, ne add network you click on custom network then here you can see you add the name of the token you add the arrow pc of the token of the network you want to add the chain id the symbol and the block explorer url and this as you can see is what we have here we have the name of the uh, the network the arrow pc url the chain id the symbol and the you know block explorer url this is it here so you have to copy this and put it fill it on this side so as you can see once you successfully add you guys as you can see it's as simple as that you just repeat what you have here on this place and you click on add so once you click on add automatically it's going to add and we go to the next step so once we go to the next step which is the stage stage two what you have to do now in this stage two you have to copy this particular uh, before you do the stage stage two you must have uh, you must have added your uh, you must have added your open x testnet wallet just like i told you here so you copy this link you go over to your you go over to your uh, browser so once you go over to your browser let's open my metamask so i can show you guys okay guys so I will click on my browser here and I'll paste that link I copied. So I'll paste that link I, I copied. So once you paste that link, it's going to show you something like this. And I've already done my own, so there's no need for me to do it again. So what you have to do is you click on this. So once you paste the link, you click on this claim test net USDT. So once you click on test claim test net USDT, it's going to you know prompt you to you know uh confirm the transaction so once you confirm it they they, they, they will just take about 0 0.001 call from you you understand which is very 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 little then they will give you the test net usdt so once they give you the test net usdt you're going to see something like this on the on the open X long test net you're going to see the years it is going to appear in your account like this just like this as you can see it's going to appear in your account just like this as you can see my network is having some issues so bear with me good so right here they're going to have some usdt maybe up to some people might receive one usdt or two or 0 0.5 depending so once you receive the usdt what you needed to do is if you if you do not receive up to one you have to do it maybe two times or so so you can receive up to one usdt so once you have up to one usdt you will go over to this place let me show you you go over to the guide and um, you copy this so once you copy this you you go over to the trust wallet and uh, sorry meta max and uh, click on the browser as you can see this is the browser section and uh, you enter the the link so once you enter the link it's going to take you to the swap section here you are going to see 
you have to connect your wallet most of the time it might be disconnected like this so you have to click on this connect so once you click on connect it's going to prompt you to select metamax and automatically your wallet will be connected as you can see here you'll be seeing the amount of usdt they have given you and you have to swap this some little amount of this usdt as you can see it's loading now to this oex you're gonna see it this way oex the yeah, usdt is like uh, you know oex just like this so what you have to do is maybe if this one usdt you got you just use 0 0.2 to swap for this OES, what you have to do is just to type in the amount like 0 0.2, then you swap this way. You click on swap, and uh, once you click on swap, it's gonna come this way. So, what you have to do now is you have to click on swap. So, once you click on swap, it's gonna wait for confirmation, and uh, the transaction is gonna confirm. I just don't want this video to be too long. But it's, this video is going to be self-explanatory. Once you are doing it, it's going to be simple. And okay, sorry, I, I, I was fast. So, so as you can see, this same pattern I'm using. That's what you're going to use for your own, and it's going to be more easier doing it yourself. So you are going to wait for the transaction to, you know, conclude and uh, wait for this to load don't click on con uh, confirm wait for this to load first before you click on confirm if not you'll get an error message so i'll click on confirm now and uh, it's going to automatically swap um, 0.2 usdt to the oex so as you can see transaction completed and you're going to be asked to add the OEX wallet to your trust wallet. You click on this. You click on add OEX to, to wallet. So once you click on it, it's going to show you a prompt that's going to come up. You have to be patient with trust uh, with uh, MetaMax. Sometimes it is very very slow per se in order for you to do something. So you are going to wait. Okay guys, so you are going to see a prompt that will come up and will show you to add the wallet. So you add it. I already have the wallet on my possession, so it's not going to show me because I've already done mine. So guys, so once you swap to oh yes, you have to click on this place and you search for these two coins. You have to swap some little USDT to these two coins, this uh, long testnet token and this OSSL. That is open staking share as you can see you have to swap some vsdt to this and this and i wouldn't want this video to be long if not i would do that just like i did for the oes as you can see so guys once you are through with this and you have your token on your account this way as you can see here i have vsdt i have uh, oex i have long token i have OSSL. Once you have it just like this, you have to go to the third. You have to go to the third. Uh, um, this thing. Okay, so you have to go to the third link. So as you can see down here. copy this long hub dots so once you copy this let me copy it it's going to take you copy this and you go over to your trust toilet sorry metamax i love seeing trust toilet so you see look at it the prompt is just coming now so you just click on this to add i already have the wallet so i don't need to even click but I can just click any of this. Sometimes uh, MetaMask can be very stressful. So, guys, what you have to do now is to click on the uh, browser section. Then you paste. 
then, then you piece the the link you copied so as you can see this is the link I copied this is the last uh, part of it you just copy the link from the guide I'll be leaving that guide on the description of this video so once you paste it it's gonna show you something like this and probably your account will not be connected just like this your account will not be connected you understand so uh, you have to just click on connect before you can actually you know do this so here you will see connect you click on connect and you follow the steps it's as simple as that it's straightforward so once you connect your wallet is going to be showing this way and the first thing you need to do is to partake in the vote you know for those who have not uh, voted because and uh, that was the, the first vote they did ended up on the ninth and now they have started another vote so you can come back and come and vote now and now to vote it's very simple you just have to click on max you know remember you have some uh, token already so you you have swapped which is the uh <coughs> the token we swap to which is this particular one this o s s l so you click on it then you click on agree you know because you can see the blue line is winning you click on agree finish then you follow the prompt it's as simple as that it's going to be successful so once you do that you come to this place this is how to pass the quiz you click on this faucet so once you click on faucet it's going to take you to where you see the quiz i've passed the quiz so i think i'll just paste a video that will show you guys how to do that this is straightforward and okay um okay guys open your metamask account switch to core okay then um okay let's leave it on uh, open open ex maybe it's my switch so open your browser then you paste the link which i gave to you so i'm gonna paste the link okay so when the site opens up you click on the connect button so just hit on the connect button the network is just slow let's wait so right so after clicking on the connect button it will connect so what you need to do is to click on uh, the start button okay click on the start button then you sign in okay so you wait for a little while okay so questions are going to be asked you just need to answer all the questions all right if your question is not correct it will not submit okay so let's let me get through the answers and submit okay i've answered all the questions so let's click on submit if my answers are correct my kyc will be passed but if it's not correct it will not be passed you can see it it is stagnant nothing happened so i need to go back and check the questions i didn't get correctly so i can get them correctly all right i've passed my question okay so this is just how to do it 